all righty uh we are back live uh hello everybody uh welcome to a more uh song of horror um a uh very janky um sometimes annoying uh but also sometimes pretty cool game um let me check some stuff here um okay all right um so we are deep into episode three uh i believe there's five episodes uh in this game so um i'm assuming we have um surpass the halfway points um and uh we were we're getting into the second half of the song uh hey how's it going dog nozzle uh welcome back uh hope you're having a good day uh let's uh just launch right into it oh why not uh we are currently in deadly death library Okay, all right. And we have to activate it. We have to activate the presence. Okay. Uh, yes, so where indeed? Oh, no. Uh, walk this way. Uh, we gotta do our camera thing. Let's look at the third one. It's gonna break. Okay. All right. And, uh, we will, um, is there anything? Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Um, let's head, uh, back up, uh, the, uh, the ladder here. <clears throat> uh, this second floor section of the library is the only safe area, uh, that we have, so, uh, no, no fear uh, of the uh, the presence coming to uh, grab us. And if I'm remembering correctly, we can only safely get caught two more times, maybe, uh, until we're just uh, we're dead and we have to redo the whole thing over again. Uh, there's some stuff for us to collect, um, to complete. Uh, to complete this nonsense. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's right. We, we gotta... Alright. Um... Okay, was this safe? Okay, first section. Is safe. And there's the ladder. Taking a, oh, okay, uh, maybe that book over there is something we need to get. Uh, you ever wonder who was the person who decided to add those green glass shades to library table lamps? Yeah, what's the deal with <laughs> what is the deal uh, with those green lamps? You know, that that's something I uh, uh, something I specifically remember from uh, Amnesia, a, a machine for pigs, for some reason, a lot of uh, a lot of green lamps. Um, let me. Uh,
Yeah, you know what this late night study session needs? Ominous green glow. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh my god. Uh, nothing but the creepy ambiance to help, uh, uh, per perhaps to scare, uh, the students to stay awake instead of falling asleep. Okay, oh yeah, that's right. We're, we're fixing, uh, yeah, turn the, uh, turn the camera back on. Okay. All right, so uh, we got to uh, yeah, check the monitors again. There's our um, uh, Mazovian um, friend right there. Unfortunately, we cannot battle uh, battle the uh, the presence with um, uh, communism or any kind of dialogue tree uh, battle. Unfortunately, I'm uh, slightly better at that uh, than this nonsense. All right. Okay, all right, let's see here. Okay, so, um, what do we want to do here? Let's head back up and head back over to the other side of the library and see if we can find our way through this maze of a uh, very, very not friendly uh, people. Some art deco, sicko, no doubt. Yeah. Probably. I also, uh, I, I, I suppose, oh, I'm, I'm not sure how uh, the university I went to, I don't remember how old it was, but um, they definitely did not have a library. And I haven't been to any other college library that I guess was either old enough to be just like this grand old school kind of thing. Um, you know, may maybe it was at one point, but, you know, uh, they probably remodeled things. I mean, I wouldn't mind wandering around like a gigantic, crazy library, um, like this. Um, you know, assuming there aren't any evil spirits around, uh, I would prefer to not have that. Okay, so... Um, all right, let us, is this area safe? Yes. Okay, uh... Alright, uh, don't go all the way over there, so... Alright, hey, there you go. Uh, let's try back this way. Hmm... Okay, so do we want to... No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, so not that way. Um, I guess I am... What, what my tactic is, I am going to try to memorize the path by doing, because I... 
I know you're supposed to memorize the path through those like security camera things on the computer and I I can't do that uh that's um that's a little a little tough uh for me to kind of wrap my head around I don't think my brain quite works that way uh, let's see. Well, we pop some caffeine pills. I don't know if that'll give us enough energy if we get hit again, which we will. Okay, this way. All right, I, I see... Oh... Hmm, is there something on the other side then? I uh, don't know if we can get there. All right, let's just... Uh... Okay. I mean, that seems like something we'd want. Hmm. All right. Well, we, we at least got a little further than the uh, uh, end of yesterday's stream. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I wonder if I can just completely skip uh, dealing with that... Uh, uh, trap door. Hmm, or maybe not. I, I can't even do the, uh, oh yeah, that's right. I have to activate the library first. All right, uh, the presence has been activated. Uh, yeah, you know, um, the music box, isn't that the answer? Uh, it's always come from the music box. Uh, that was just a group of uh, college students Panicking over finals. Ah, God, yes. Finals. Always a fun time. Although it was uh, always a relief uh, if you happen to finish yours uh, before your friends. Because uh, you could just relax. Uh, play your friends uh, Guitar Hero while they study. At least that's what I, I I remember doing. Okay, yeah, <laughs> let's go downstairs. Thank you. All right. So, all right, we went this way. Okay, and don't go. Don't go all, all the way to the right. Hang out by this um, cleaning thing. No, 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 no. All right. We go this way. I think. Oh, gosh. All right. Yeah, and there's something on the other side of that bookcase. I already don't remember. Did we go all the way down or? No, we didn't. Okay.
Oh, but I, 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 I do remember that. Oh, yeah, maybe we got caught over here. So let's let's try going between the tables. Any, uh, any presences around here? Ah, okay. Uh, there's a book. All right, Sinister Nature, an old volume that tells the story of the investigations carried out by Legrand and his companions. Um... All right. Oh, thank God. Is that it? We did it. We did it. Oh, oh no. Um Um, apparently not right now. Um, okay, um, can we... Oh, the day before. Okay, um, let me see if I can fix the sound issue. Okay, good. All right. Um, what the heck is, uh, going on with... Oh, weird. Why... Why is there a sound issue? No game audio? Oh, man. Yeah, that's not coming over. Uh, I should have... I got I got so used to it work, uh, working fine every stream um, that I wasn't paying attention to. Yeah, looks like the audio isn't coming through. <laughs> um. Okay, do you hear some ambient audio now? Alright, uh, cool. Um, thanks, OBS, uh, for the, uh, the random, um, unselecting the, uh, proper channel or whatever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> apologies, everybody. Um, I guess, uh, we, we were doing the, uh, uh, because we were in the library, we wanted to be quiet, you know. Uh, totally done on purpose. Uh, not my uh, um, incompetent buffoonery. Not at all. Uh, let's see. Let me uh, catch up here. Uh, yeah, tough shape rotation puzzle since the security camera angles are different uh, than what you see actually navigating through the game. Yeah, yeah, the uh, trying to like piece together the security camera stuff plus like the fact that the game already has that like its own like cha constantly changing camera angles um it was uh apparently just a little bit easier to do the old trial and error um wasn't as bad as i was uh, i was uh, expecting i probably should have noticed earlier oh that's okay um <laughs> i i i should have also uh <laughs> 
uh, but I didn't. See, uh, th this is why people do uh, testing uh, before they hit the uh, start stream button. Uh, whoops. Whoops. All right, so we're, uh, uh, as it said, um, we're now the day before, and I guess we're playing as Sebastian Husher. Wow, okay. Age 54, light source lighter. Um, yeah, I haven't been reading uh, any of these recently for the other characters, but um, I guess I'll try to remember to do that. Uh, an eccentric character with uh, traditional tastes, Husher is a prolific writer of historical fiction who com uh, combines literary creation with a professorship at the State University of Arts and Humanities. Uh, he is used to traveling all over the world, investigating little-known events that provide the inspiration of his future works. However, his most recent journey has turned out to be very different from the rest. And uh, he's our only selection, so... Isaac, my dear friend, you don't know what you've done with that cursed music box. By the time you tried to warn me, we had all heard the music. Now I find myself trapped in a tragic race against time. I had a hunch. I thought that perhaps by returning the box to you... Damn it. I've been such a fool. I lied, Isaac. I'm sorry. I just need you to hold on while I find a way to make things right. I left the house without telling Catherine. How could I possibly explain something like this? I thought she'd never believe me. And I was wrong. But now it's too late. I only hope you're all safe. And that you will find a way to forgive me. I must put an end to this once and for all. For my family, for you, and for my own sake. Argos Legrant. Everything revolves around that name. He was the person who had the box crafted and picked out the melody. I know he died in 1913. Newspapers of the day reported a violent burglary in his home. Everyone died, save for Ariadne, who was just a baby at the time. The case was closed, uh, Ariadne. But just That's how doesn't you say it. add up. The police investigation was far too short-lived, and the bodies were not buried, but incinerated. I believe... I believe they were trying to hide the truth. I discovered that the book Natura Tenebrosa was written by two of Legrand's collaborators, the same two who followed him across Europe researching all matter of ridiculous legends, all equally far-fetched. The last case in the book speaks of Legrand's last journey, on which he embarked just before making the music box. I've followed in his footsteps for weeks now, visiting every place, following every lead about that melody. Alas, I have reached the last leg of this journey, in the north. I find myself among the deserted ruins of St. Cecilia's Abbey, now covered in snow. Here, in 1912, the annual concert in honor of the patron saint of music was held. Oh boy. But Grant was not there at the time, but he came to investigate soon after. Every single person who attended that concert died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances, and the Abbey has been abandoned ever since. The connection is clear. I know there must be something here, a clue I can pursue. If not, I don't dare think about the future. I can barely distinguish what's real from what's not. Something is watching me, following me, drawing closer and closer by the day. The melody still haunts me. Its notes echo constantly in my head. With each passing minute, they sound more ghastly and foreign. I see darkness all around me, and shadows lurking in the corners. I see my world merging with something else. I see another place. The black figure. I feel it's... it's here with me. All right. Well... Is this the end?
All right, 2nd of October, 98. Interlude, end of the road. St. Cecilia's Abbey. Time to move. I have to find it. All right, um, let me, I accidentally minimized uh, that. There we go. All right, uh, let me uh, catch up real quick here. Uh, Seppi has maxed out stealth stat. Not sure which minigame that would help with. Uh, yeah, um, I, I, I didn't even notice. Um, I, I didn't pay attention to his stats. Um, this is a sneaky, sneaky bastard, apparently, this guy is. Um, right before World War I, something tells me this interlude won't end well for poor Sebastian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fun that we get to see what he was up to, though. Uh, the drip has filled up the basin. There's all kinds of filth washed down from the roof. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm interested. Uh, so, like, what's the deal with that, uh, um, choir or concert or whatever was going on in the Abbey that, like, made, uh, everybody disappear? Uh, it's kind of like the, uh, I know there's, like, a, that old legend thing of, like, some movie, uh, back in the day, um, uh, that, like, killed or, like, everybody died who, like, saw it like on opening night or whatever and i i know um um uh, john carpenter's cigarette burns kind of deals with a version of that uh fun fun little uh idea damn the door must have closed before when i left the room there is a small crack if only i had some tool to stick in there Right, uh, we got stairs up. Uh, I guess let's just uh, have a little look-see uh, before we head up to uh, a second floor. Uh, the door is jammed shut. It's impossible to open. have a fountain pen. I, I, I don't think we can unlock a door with our fountain pen, unfortunately. Oh, hey, Sebastian. There you go. Uh, what do we have here? Ho! A tool for tilling the fields. It's pretty rusty, but still strong. All right, we'll go ahead and take that. Oh, um... It has taken me two hours to remove one of those floorboards. There's no way I'm going to be able to get in through there. Uh, I've had a flick through those books before, but there wasn't anything useful. Uh, they've almost fallen apart, what with the exposure to the elements and the damp in this place. All right. Uh, the stairs must have collapsed ages ago. I need to find another way to get up to that balcony. Oh, um, I believe we did find that door. But, uh... Head on through here. Anything over here, though? Uh, nope. Showing off our maxed out stealth skill with Sebastian here. 
Just a slow walk up the stairs. This place must have been extremely inhospitable in winter. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Uh, it's probably, uh, I'm probably a bit cold. Okay. It's locked. Uh, the lock looks like it's in good condition, but without the key, can we, can we bash it with the, uh, no, it's pointless. Of course it's pointless. Sounds all clear. Hmm. Oh, what do we have in here? Uh, most of these natural remedies expired before I was even born. Uh, some of these pharmaceutical books must be real gems, but they're no help to me right now. Oh. We fell for this bullshit before. Um, would they go for it again? Or would they hide something we need under there? Um, well, good thing we are, um, you know, uh, on the, uh, the mode without permadeath. Uh, unless it just, uh, ends the interlude like this is how he died. Uh, all right, let, let's do it for fun. Uh, from what I can make out through the folds of the sheets, those remains have been here for decades. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. Um, that was uh, pretty anticlimactic. All right, sounds fine. Oh, has uh, someone been here recently? Uh, the books are beginning to fall apart, and the jars of chemicals look like they've been festering for years. Dirty dishes, uh, just left there. I wonder how long they've been there. Uh, this bookcase doesn't seem to be fixed like the others, and the corners are worn down. There's a few utensils on the table. Anything we want? Guess not. I uh, didn't know. I, I guess that's not a, a good hidey table for us. Uh, plants still grow on these cans. Oh, uh, so we need something uh, with those plant things. Okay, what do we need? Oh, no, no, we, we, yeah, we, we don't have what we need yet. Okay. Oh, uh, what's this? What's this? It looks like a spring from some sort of hydraulic system. I think that pressing the spring started the water flowing, but there's not enough getting uh, through to move that bookshelf. Okay, so, all right, we'll... We'll come back here later, I'm assuming. Uh, what do they have going on on the kitchen counter there? Is that some kind of distillation contraption? I don't know. I don't know if it's...
Yeah, they, they, they must be, um... Yeah, it must be some kind of distillation thing. Like, we got plants here, and then the other room was talking about, like, um, like, pharmaceuticals or something. Probably, um, all of homemade stuff. Homemade, uh, medicines, maybe? Um, whatever this Abby, uh, was making. All right. Let's, uh, let's head out of here. Continue our exploration of this abandoned abbey. Uh, the outer pane of glass is broken and the cold air is coming in between the boards. Uh, there's a corridor behind the wall and it seems that someone has tried to get in or out of there. Hmm. Uh, we have no other interaction. Yeah, and this was... This was locked up. Um, hmm. Oh, no map available. There wasn't anything else downstairs. Um, were we able to get into, like, the... Hey, hey, Sebastian. Downstairs. There you go. Yeah, are we able to get into the center here? Okay, there we go. Uh, what do we have? Uh, the stone fountain is covered in ice. Uh, the damn cold in this place is getting into my bones. Seeing a whole lot in the center we can interact with, though. don't have any keys. Hmm, what am I missing? Oh, what's the oh oh okay yeah we've we've already uh looked at that all right hmm oh um can we use the hoe on this ah there we go
We got it. We got it. I'm glad I lit this. It's nice and warm. Uh, the piping system is very complex. Oh boy, I don't like the sound of that. Sounds like a puzzle. Uh, what a relief uh, it is to light the brazier. All right, there's an interaction there. Uh, piping has been dripping for days, months, years. An old set of bellows. I don't think I can use it for anything right now. The wooden table is rotten from the damp in the room. It looks like it's, it's about to fall to pieces. Some old and wretched clay vessels. Uh, now the water's running through this pipe, I have to make sure I open all of the water valves. All right, um... Does that mean we can get through that uh, book bookcase now? Uh, was that through here? Yes. has to get through it. Okay, so I guess... What other pipes were there? Hmm. No, uh, no pipes. Pipes around here. Hmm. Sebastian, down the stairs. There you go. Okay, let me uh, check in here again. There wasn't any other... Do we have any, uh, uh, pipes from the well? Mm, does not seem like it. Oh, wait. What was this? Oh. Uh, just that description. All right. To do a lap around uh, any any piping uh, going on out here uh, does not seem to be the case. All 
Alright, we have a whole bunch of locked doors, uh, but no key. Uh, we can't get into the bookcase, because I guess we gotta um, activate more pipes. I think I completely missed this. Yeah, we, we haven't been in here. All right, these look like pipes. I've opened it up for the water to get through, but even so, I would say that something is still blocking it near here. Hmm. Uh, the water in those buckets stinks like a sewer. I can't imagine it's healthy to even breathe. Uh, pipes are leaking everywhere and are almost eaten through with rust. A uh, foul-smelling dark liquid is running over the surface of the table. It's still snowing. I hope it stops soon or getting out of here. Uh, will even uh, will be even more difficult than it was to get in. Let's see what's further down this hallway. Oh, another door. Hey, sounds fine. Uh, ancient amphorae, uh, like the ones Catherine put in the garden. I wonder if she and the kids miss me. Uh, the air is buzzing with flies and a sickly stench. Well, uh, this is probably not... Oh, maybe this is why it stinks. Uh, it smells worse than it looks, if that's possible. Uh, it looks like there's something down there blocking the main... Dr oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Amphorae, uh, would be from Roman times, I believe. Ah, interesting. I did not know that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I think, uh, this could be fun either way. Um, either... Um, we're gonna get all gross shoving our hand down there, or we're gonna get some fun toilet death. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So we just... Uh, I don't think I'll need anything so disgusting. All right. Just, uh, getting right in there, Sebastian. All right. Uh, there's a layer of damp and decay on every single surface in this room. The plumbing system is extremely complicated for just a few toilets. Oh, 
Okay, so does that mean we can get into the uh, the bookshelf uh, secret passage now? Alright, let's just uh, run around until we find this over here. Head back upstairs. Let's walk upstairs, nice and quiet. Very stealthy. I, I still don't trust that corpse under the sheet. All right, there we go. Okay, secret room, secret room. Yes, what is this? <clears throat> uh, remarks made by the prior, notes written by Father Malacquius, uh, prior of the St. Cecilia's Abbey, about the monk's behavior. All right, let's read. Some days ago, now I observed the brothers performing a strange ritual. Uh, they took turns to sit in front of a mirror and facing it, light the lamp, and then put it out. Uh, this shall remain as written testimony of everything that has been discovered and that has been passed on to me, as it may prove valuable to whomever finds it. Sitting in front of the mirror, they observe their own reflection and everything behind them. Uh, then they proceed to put the lamp out or dim its flame uh, to the point that the eyes, blinded by the previous glow, no longer see. Thereupon, they light it once more and again observe their reflections and everything behind them, repeating this process several times. And sometimes, God help us, the reflection shown in the mirror isn't what it should be. Uh, I can't begin to describe the horrors that appear. The mere act of committing them to paper is an insult to our Lord. But what I can say is that the more frequently these horrors appear, the closer they are, and the less time we have until... Until they're no longer only in the reflection. Oh shit! Yeah, oh shit, damn it is right. Who the hell was that? I hope he can't get it open. Yeah, you... You stay in there. Oh, okay, we're on the, uh... Yeah, we, we, okay, we saw this area through that hole. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, so, uh, what I was gonna say, uh, before we got that cutscene and the weird gross guy chasing us, um, these monks were sitting around playing like Bloody Mary with the mirror. Uh, <laughs> basically. Yeah, uh, this isn't looking good. Um, I think I'm seeing what happened with a couple of the missing people. Oh, there's something. Uh, another long, dark hallway. Okay, sounds fine. Uh. 
The mirror is broken, but you can still see parts of the room reflected in the shards like a bizarre mosaic. Uh, it's creepy how we have bodies and crosses hanging from the ceiling in the same way here. Uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, th th this is uh, a bit creepy for sure. Uh, the scribblings of desperate monks, desperate like me. Okay, sounds fine. Ah, the doors jammed or blocked from the inside. My god, how awful. Why are there so many bodies piled up here? All right, uh, we got a crucifix room. The wall has been furiously covered in crosses. I understand the desperation that leads to that better than I'd like. Somebody has made sure no one can get into this cell or out of it. If this works, let's see how much I have left. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Candyman, 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 whoever else. Stop it, game. Here it comes. Oh, oh, oh. Touche game. Way to subvert that obvious jump scare. <laughs> yeah, exact. Yeah. Okay, Song of Horror. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, I, I... <laughs> uh, that was entertaining. All right. Okay. Um, th that interlude is over. <clears throat> so we have episode four, the last concert. Let's, uh, let's dive in. I left him here four days ago. I thought, well, since I didn't hear from him, I thought he'd forgotten me again, caught up in his usual musings. It's happened before, you know. Did he stay here alone? Do you know if he went in? Yes. Well, I don't know if he went in, but he certainly did ask me to leave. He seemed a bit more erratic than usual. As I said before, it wouldn't be the first time I've traveled with Sebastian only to find myself on a forced holiday until he remembers I'm there. Honestly, I thought he'd forgotten completely this time and had just headed back home. The hotel was booked until Monday, so... Well, he's not home. That much I can tell you. Is there any way to get in there? Well, as far as I know, the door isn't locked. Although it might be a bit swollen from the humidity. Uh, maybe if we gave it a little push. Right, let's give it a try. But someone should look for another way in just in case.
All right, I guess that someone is going to be me. All right, let's see. We got um, Daniel Etienne Bertrand. Oh, yeah, the uh, yeah, uh, the guy that Daniel works for. Uh, we got Grace again. We have Ernest Finnegan, ex-archaeologist. Uh, let's see, a friend to Sebastian uh, P. Husher, Ernest is renowned ex-archaeologist forced to retire. Due to constant health problems, uh, the writer is one of the few people that still manages to entice him into breaking his routine, and Ernest often travels together with him during his research trips. Uh, when the writer needed help to gain access to the Abbey of St. Cecilia, he thought immediately about Ernest. back to yeah <laughs> you'll get it Daniel you'll get it uh, let us uh, let's try old Ernest here uh, maybe he has some knowledge on uh, some of the stuff around the uh, the Abbey here oh, I can go have a look after all, I know the area, more or less. Uh, let's see. Uh, you may have overestimated how attached we are to poor Sebi, but let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, not really uh, particularly attached to too many people in this game, but eh. Yeah. All right, part four, the last concert. Oh, my knees are giving up on me. Oh, Sebastian, my old pal, where are you? Okay, there we go. Alrighty, uh, let's have us a look, look around. Uh, this wall didn't withstand the bombing. Uh, whatever was in those crates must have frozen right along with them. Okay. Um, all right, we can go right on in. A debris from the collapsed ceiling. Nothing is left of the upper floor. Uh, it's the entrance to a tunnel that runs behind this wall, but it's blocked by a hatch. All right, we need, we need something uh, for that. That sack is practically frozen. All right, uh, let's see what we got in here. I guess it was more convenient to have these sacks and barrels here uh, than to carry them to and fro. The cupboard is empty and quite large, but the door is jammed. I can't open it. Okay, we got a door back there. 
There's a door over here. Uh, let's check out the rest of the room first. Uh, folded note, hasty notes taken by Sebastian P. Husher. I feel like I'm being followed. I know the abbey is abandoned, but sometimes it feels like there's someone there who's putting out the candles. Uh, it might just be the wind or the insufferable chill. I must be losing my mind, but sometimes I encounter candles that I don't recall lighting myself. Damn it, I need to find the origin of that cursed song and get out of this place. Um, well, um, I think it was pretty clear during the interlude there was some, some gentleman, uh, gentleman running around, all creepy. Uh, it's odd that monks should leave a table like that. Uh, and also, is it, is it a... Would we qualify a place that is abandoned even if there are bodies there? Uh, they're not alive, but... Like, I guess uh, you can't say anybody's living here. But, uh, the Abbey is occupied, right? Uh, old herbs, old recipe books, old utensils. Uh, the cupboard is empty. If I tuck my stomach in, I think I'd fit. All right, we got to hide. We got a hidey spot. Okay, we got a we got a map back. Uh, the labels are in Latin. They identify sorted herbs and ingredients as well as cutlery. Well, if the place wasn't abandoned, they probably would have tried to get the bodies down and give them a proper burial. That's true. I mean, I, I guess we don't know exactly what that uh um uh guy that we saw briefly, a Sebastian, is doing. Maybe maybe he's uh. Maybe he's uh, helping out with that. We just uh, haven't uh, seen enough of him. Oh yeah, that's... That's a bad door. That is a bad door. This is a good door. Let's uh, check this door. Uh, spices and craft beer recipes. I wonder what their beer tasted like. A uh, wooden bucket full of grease. Uh, these products usually have a surprisingly long shelf life. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we need some kind of container to carry around grease. All right, let's check this door again. All right, that might be like a permanently, permanently bad door uh, that we don't want to go into. Okay, let's uh let's check the door situation out over here. No. Nope. All right, locked. We got a bottle of liquor, high proof distilled spirits. Uh -huh. I would take a good swig if I knew that wouldn't poison me. Mm -hmm. 
I can't possibly open that cupboard. The door is swollen and jammed. Hmm. All right, another door right there. A big, uh... Uh, there's nothing inside that pot except dust and black filth. Old kitchen utensils, older even than the ones my mom used in her day. Alright, uh, let's check out this smaller door. Sounds fine. A uh, new game, who dis? <laughs> uh, hello, uh, zombie. Uh, welcome uh, to Song of Horror. Uh, we are on episode four of five, I believe. Uh, currently exploring the haunted abbey of St. Cecilia, in which a dark song was sang and a bunch of people died. And also some monks played Bloody Mary with a mirror and died. Uh, it doesn't make sense. It says here that access to the monks' sleeping quarters was forbidden, but isn't that where they slept? All right, what do we got going on here? There's a passage, a tunnel to the other side of this wall. It must have been used by the monks, but now it's blocked with a heavy hatch. Uh, this hand crank must be what turns those gears on the wall. It won't turn. If I take the gear, maybe I can do something about it. Ah, yes. Let's take the gear. We got our gear. It's heavier than a bloody lorry. It's even hard to carry around. All right. We saw a big bucket of grease uh, before. So we wanna, we wanna find that. Uh, but first, uh, let us check this door situation out. Let's listen. Yeah, fine. Oh. Oh, I can't get through. It's locked. All right. Uh, let's head back out and uh, try to remember where. Um... Oh, yeah, maybe it was all the way down there. Is that where our grease situation was? There it is. We got our grease box. Let's uh, dump the gear in. Lubricated gear, a rotating gear designed to work with a crank recently lubed. Huh? Uh, it's covered in grease. All right. Uh, let's head back to the, uh, the crank room. Uh, this is... Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck. Oh, we're, we're doing this. We doing this. We doing this game.
Man, um, I'm not a fan of that one. It always seems like we're gonna fail. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, uh, that, that, that one isn't a fun one. Actually, like, a lot of them seem like we're gonna fail, so. Uh, <laughs> Um, is it this room? Ah, yes. Uh, we couldn't find a container for the grease, so we brought the item that needed greasing directly to the source. Exactly. Um, I thought that guy had a good stealth stat. The coughing doesn't seem to be helping. Yeah, th this guy's stealth stat stinks. Um, what? All right. Oh, dear Lord. I'm going to destroy my knees crawling in there. All right. Um, now we just have to figure out how to get in there so we can destroy uh, this gentleman's knees. Okay, let's uh, let's head out of here. Uh, hopefully, uh, we are not visited again by the uh, uh, angry man. Sanctimonious statues carved in stone. Oh. Uh, the hatch looks far too heavy for me to lift it with my bare hands. Oh. How about uh, downing this bottle of liquor? No, that won't do. As I learned back in my archaeology days, sometimes what you need is the most unlikely object. Okay, uh, this one seems safe. A lock with a silver keyhole. Okay, so we need something to lift a hatch, and obviously we're looking for a silver key. Oh. Uh, iron lock on the door. I can't go that way. What? This place was bombed during World War II. By then, it had already been abandoned. The damage is quite visible. All right, let us head back around. You know, I'm noticing that um, one day prior, this place looked quite a bit different than uh, when Sebastian uh, was around. A rope and bucket for lowering things down into the well or pulling them up. Do we want to give a well? Uh, does uh, um, Sadako uh, want some liquor? Use your head, Ernest. Oh, why would you want to go down there? Okay, so we want... Oh, oh. All right. We got a violin ghost. Uh, it's dark, but I guess I could take the stairs if my knees don't give in. Should I go down the well? Well, we, we, we do have our uh, permadeath turned off, so uh, let's see what happens. Uh, 
Um, that is probably why we are going to send a bucket down for some reason. Yeah, we, we got a fiddler guy cruising around. Uh, <laughs> I never really liked Ernest anyway. Too much coughing. Oh, boy. All right, so I don't actually go down the well. I don't know what we would be putting in the bucket, though. Ah. Okay, um... We've already been in here. Okay, let's see what we got around this way. Uh, nothing much. Uh, this wall didn't withstand the bombing. All right, so uh, what the heck are we supposed to do now? Okay, we got... That bottle of liquor. Um... We got a couple locked doors and we need to get that hatch open. Uh, we got a bucket by the well that we can send something down. Hmm. see if this room uh, over here is still a permanent presence room. Ah! Oh, what's going on? It's an angry door. Yeah, I think that's a permanent death room. Okay, um, uh, hmm. We don't have any keys. My God. Uh, would someone give us a key, please? Can't open that. Uh -uh. That is locked. And 
this was the uh, the room with the crank. Uh, nothing in those um, on those shelves. Hmm. Uh, don't even need to listen at that door. It's got a force field. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very upset uh, that we're taking so long here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um... Useful. Yeah, that's that's still still filled with grease. Alrighty. Um, I am missing something. This seems like it's like a, like a staircase. Um, but we can't seem to go up it. Okay, and there was nothing just in in this courtyard area, no objects. Oh, uh, it looks like those flowers can stand the snow. They're surrounded by thorny vines. Well, Okay, so what we found was another thing we can't do. All right. We need something to cut the flowers.
Okay. Um. Nothing, nothing left of the second floor. Oh. Hmm. Uh, my knees are not up to the task, but I guess I could crawl through here. Okay. All right. Get in there, Ernest. It's about time. gave me a break this time yes a good thing uh the ink is faded i can't read anything it says in this book uh hiding in the middle of a room and doesn't seem like the best idea but if i had no other choice all right uh we got a uh hiding spot Uh, rotting books and stained bottles. Somebody turned on this oven. Sebastian, was that you? Where have you gone? All right, um, I guess we can cook something in there. Hmm. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> That's that, you bloody li- ah! No! No! Right, um Okay, so we unlock this door. Where does it lead back into Okay. Uh back into the uh the, the cauldron room. Alright, ghost door. What's your deal? Sounds fine now. Dear God, a key among human bones. A pewter key, a uh, dark tone key with an elaborate bow. Uh -huh. It's a uh, good shape and cold to the touch. All right, finally, we got a key. Uh, there's nothing else in here aside from the human bones someone put in the oven, Sebastian. Was that you? Uh, page two from the Abbot's Diary, handwritten page from the diary of Father Ag uh, Aguno, Abbot of St. Cecilia. Uh, 12th of December, 1912. He has been purified. I have nothing to fear. His bones will turn to dust in that oven, for I will not allow for him to be taken elsewhere. This should suffice to silence the voices. All is well. I have nothing to fear. All I must do is finish his altar and keep calm. I must not be afraid. My faith must not falter. Uh, chopped wood, damp and old. Too old for it to have been Sebastian. Uh, books and mortars. Uh, the shelves look like they'll fall if I sneeze a bit too close. Uh, 
Uh, they pushed aside those chairs almost in one go. Okay, uh, let's see what's in here. Okay, uh, looks like another shortcut. Okay. Um, oh, a uh, new, new cloister. Oh, okay, so um, uh, why it looks different. I, I guess we were in a uh, different part of, uh, of the abbey than uh, uh, Sebastian was. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, iron lock. Oh, that's a pewter key. Uh -uh. Yeah, not the right key. Um, I don't think we've seen a pewter lock. What? Oh, there's someone up there. Someone's home. There you are, Sebastian. I'm coming to catch you. I don't know if it's Sebastian, though. a trace of Sebastian anywhere. The staircase collapsed and what's still standing looks very unstable. It would be crazy huh? to go in there. See overflowing buckets. I can open the window, but it looks onto a snow covered cliff. I could never escape this way. Um, nothing over here. Okay. Ah, yes, the lovely bathroom. Uh, it smells disgusting. Uh, the crate is rotten and the containers are empty. What's that dirty thing there? A dirty rag. We're, we're just going to pick it up. An unsightly mess of rags and filth. Why do we want mm -hmm. this? It's hard as a rock. God, why am I carrying this filthy rag around? Okay, do we send the rag down the well? Do we cook it in the oven? Well, I, <laughs> what, uh, what are we doing with that? Yes, uh, deteriorated books. And nothing good for us. Okay, that's locked from the other side. 
where were they taking these books? Were they of any value? Okay, a pewter lock. We we do have the pewter key. Yeah. There we go. Okay, pruning shears. Oh. Uh, I need to be careful with these. They're incredibly rusty. I better not cut myself. All right. Um, we can uh, cut those plants. Uh, the tapestry is dirty and frayed beyond any possible restoration. Uh, what, do, what, do, what, do, what do we got going on in here? Big hole in the wall. Stacked books exactly the same as when they were left there, surprisingly. Oh yeah, there's someone moving about. Someone's moving about. It looks like a suicide letter. It tells the horror he felt. Um, what have we got ourselves into, Sebastian? Dear Lord. You know, my I, I didn't even see that guy at first. Um, I, like, my eyes were just trained on that letter. Uh, <laughs> I was like, ooh, do we get to read something? And then, oh, oh, there, there's a, a gentleman. Um, uh, hanging out up there mm -hmm. uh probably an old clothes ringer my grandmother had one similar to this when i was little okay here's a letter a lost notebook the terrified account of a local they weren't stupid superstitions this place is just like they said i can't remember where i sneaked in through the walls and now I keep pacing down the same empty corridors time and again. I should have listened to the villagers and stayed away from this place. I feel like my mind is slipping into the abyss. I hear something break the silence of these halls. Something uh, like the swishing of robes around me. It seems to come from all places at once. Uh, but when I raise my lantern, I see nothing. And yet when I put it back, the sound returns closer than before damnation have i gone mad uh, covered and abandoned here as if he were simply taking a nap Alrighty, um, let me see. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Uh, so I will be right back uh, very, very shortly. Uh, and we'll uh, continue on with a bit more.
Okay, all right, we are back. Uh, all right, uh, we got another hiding, uh, hiding spot. Oh, uh, we got a mirror. Let's uh, look at it. The mirror is broken. Mr. Neuer said something about that. A stack of journals and other books. Illegible, I'm afraid. Wait, nope. Oh. Turn back around. There you go. Yes. Okay. Um. All right. We got the yeah, dormitory there. Um. Do I want to just run over to the old cloister and get those flowers? Uh, maybe I do. Let's just uh, continue. Oh. oh. Ah! not a fan of that uh, version of the uh, the QTE where I have to hit like three different letters at different times um, you definitely uh, definitely don't care for it all right sturdy boards have to find another way in Okay, another another silver key door. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've we've been through here. Um but we I I guess we'll head back to the old uh old cloister and uh, see about getting those flowers. Okay, let's see, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, out these doors. Okay, and then out these uh, doors over here, and we should be good. Are we back outside? Yes, we are. Uh, perfect. All right, so run around and find those flowers. There they are. Okay, bouquet of flowers. Red flowers picked in the snow. Uh, there must be something useful I can do with these flowers.
Who knows? Um, shall we send the flowers down the well? Is that something we can do with them? Oh. Uh, no, no, we cannot. Oh, how about the uh, the dirty rag? Um. Okay, why is my mouse giving me issues here? Oh. All right, that doesn't work either. Okay. Um. Yeah, that won't do. I'm sure the flowers also won't do. And I'm sure the shears also won't do. Nah. Alrighty. Um, I guess we'll just head back uh, to the other side. Double, double doors. There we are. All right, we, we got this oven. Do we want to cook the rag? No. Burning that won't help me find Sebastian. Do we want to burn the flowers? Nope. Uh, all right. Um, hmm. Okay, all right, we're back over here. Um, okay, there's some doors up that way. Um, and what was this lock with silver? No, oh, iron, iron key. Right, it won't budge. Um, how about this? Oh, iron gate, iron key. Uh, thank God for that brazier. I couldn't feel me ears. Uh, that's one shoddy plumbing system, if you ask me. Uh, well, thank you, Ernest, for, um, for that, uh, review. I feel the cold in my bones. It is pretty cold outside, in this game, at least. Uh, the bucket is full of water from the condensation on those pipes. Uh huh. Okay, a large pair of bellows. Huh? Uh, with a foot pump, it doesn't seem too worn out. Okay, I guess we're taking that for whatever reason. Um, okay, another hiding spot. Uh, we'll take those. Clay water vessels. Oh, how I'd love to take a nice warm shower now.
Okay, so that was all that was in there. Yep, no trace of Sebastian anywhere. Okay, yeah, we've we've already been through there. Yeah, that's the uh the dormitories. Check it out from this side again. Oh, okay, yeah, there was uh, that crack in the wall in the map was this. Okay, we can go in there. Uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Interesting, this valve must regulate the pipe's water flow. Could it have something do, something to do with the tank back there? Hmm. Okay. Uh, rancid wine, it's no good now, but it must have been decent in its day. Uh, a grape press. Uh, they must have been made wine in small quantities. Uh -huh. I believe this is the tank's drain pipe. It must prevent the water from reaching a certain level. Jesus. Okay, that that guy's got a key. Oh Jesus! Nobody survived, did they? Oh, uh, not so much. Not so much, uh, Ernest. So, like, how... Oh. Oh! Okay. Alright. I think we're gonna jam the rag up there. There we go. Alright. Now, let's see if we can get this, uh, the corpse key. The floating on up. Is doing all right. There we go. Uh, give us that key, please. Mm -hmm. All right, iron key. Uh, the bottom half is thick and heavy. Okay. Be able to... God damn it. All right, game. Oh, God damn it. Yes, God damn it indeed. I agree. Uh, bottles of liquor, empty and di uh, dirty. All right, we got a door over here. Uh, let's see. I do think it's kind of cool that the cold makes you happy uh, to find these rooms uh, that should in reality be pretty scary uh, Using outdated technologies to smelt metals over a brazier and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, it's a um, Pretty pretty good atmosphere uh, For sure uh, Beer tanks damn it Sebastian. We should be at the pub enjoying a pint instead of caught up in this mess uh, yes, um, perhaps we should, um, just head to the Winchester, have a pint, and wait for this whole present situation to blow over. I agree. Uh, damn it, if only, uh, those recipe books were in better condition. Uh -huh. An old still, I have seen many like this one, and it looks like it works.
Uh, why are we doing this? Distilled alcohol, <clears throat> a bottle of fully ethyl alcohol. Huh? Uh, the distillation is almost pure. The scent is unmistakable. All right. Uh, is that just a, a souvenir, uh, Ernest? Uh, these ancient devices are much more resistant than the junk they make nowadays. Uh, nothing inside those bottles, except for poison. Okay, so I guess that's everything in here. some stairs Let's head on up oh we got the return of the crucifixes I see is scribbled notes of monks begging for forgiveness. What on earth did they do? Mm -hmm. A poem by the librarian, sonnet written by Brother Ernino, librarian of St. Cecilia's Abbey. All right, let's read some poetry. Uh, four keys in four locks, our barrier between life and death. Four brothers and four bonds, resisting to suffer the same fate. The prior within himself insists the abbot trusts a figure. Victorino, where the air is thinner, and I in the abyss. We're locked up, our brothers, without trace of kindness. We trap them, the others, because they found madness. And we? What have we lost? Did we leave behind our sanity? Dear brothers, forgive us, for we have lost all humanity. Oh, hey, no, go, no, there you go. Mm -hmm. Damn, this door is locked with four locks. There, there, oh God. Oh my gosh, the never-ending search for keys is going to kill me. I might need uh, to take a break in the future from games that have keys or doors. Oh, oh my gosh, down the stairs. Thank you. Four locks for four brothers. Um, yeah, I, I hope it's just like the ones that we, we are already collecting. Um, which I guess would make sense. We got iron and pewter. Or maybe not, because pewter is gone. So it's probably... Oh gosh, four different keys. Oh boy. Um... Okay, so I guess that's everything in this section for now. Oh. Um, let's see what we got. So we got we got the bellows, we got 
distilled alcohol. We got the bouquet of flowers, pruning shears. Ah, okay, iron key, iron key. Uh, so we can unlock some some other doors. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get out of here. Okay. Um, all right, yeah, triangle ends, so we can head this way. Yeah, why not? No, are we doing a new mechanic? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. All right. The Requiem. They're coming to get you. Only the mirror can reveal them. To turn the mirror, use the mouse. Once you see them, you'll have to finish them off by focusing the light from your lamp on them. To do so, hold down the right mouse button. If you take too long, they'll try to escape. Don't let them out of your sight or they'll attack from behind. Oh boy. Well. Is dementia playing tricks on me? This can't be real. Okay, well, uh, at least uh, it didn't seem too difficult at all. Um, uh, thank, thankfully. Okay, so we want to go back this way. All right. And are you? No, next door. Uh, the iron door. Okay. Let's throw that key in there. Uh, good. The key worked. Uh, let's uh, have a look-see. All right. Uh, we're, we're getting closer. Closer to Sebastian. to silver lock oh my god uh, it's snowing far too much in this region for this time of year there are like six jillion keys in this episode of the game Uh, 
uh, is dementia playing tricks on me, Ernest? You're like 45, not nearly old enough for that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, rotten medicines and active ingredients. This must be their chemist's cupboard. Uh, what do we have here? Loose parts, one of three. Several spare parts made of metal. What? I don't have all the spare parts yet. What on earth? This place. Uh, varied recipes. Okay, um, oh. Oh, Jesus, it's cold. Hmm. Oh, bloody hell, what's happening? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think I've... I've seen, uh, this one since the, uh, the mansion in, uh, episode one. Uh, deteriorated books. What? An old stove and the flame is burning. Was that you, Sebastian? Oh, Bellows, maybe? I don't need to... Br oh. Yeah. Uh, what are we cooking? We cooking some booze? I wanted to make a stew, I wouldn't use these flowers or that stove. Oh, oh, finally, a bit of warmth. I see the, uh, they grew these plants here. Surprisingly, they've survived. Oh gosh, now our candle's gone out. Um... going on uh yes uh what is what is going on um yeah there's a door sir uh it looks like the prior prayed to the saint regularly Damn it, Sebastian. I know you're back there somewhere, and this bloody door is stuck. All right, Prior's testimony. I hear their screams, they haunt me. They claw desperately at the door, trying to get out. But are they even themselves? At night, I can hear them crawling on top of each other on the other side of the door and fear it might give way. They beg, wail, and weep. The things they say must never leave that hall. Even if they manage to escape, what good would it do to them? I am too trapped. I can't open the passage from this side anymore. I must not let them get my key for they would be one step closer to leaving. And then, God Almighty, grant me the strength to avoid it, no matter the cost. I must hide the key far from their ghastly hands. I shall hide the key where no one can find it. Not while I still draw breath. May God have mercy on our souls, all of them. Uh, no clue? No clue? 
Bloody hell, there's a key inside his chest. What on earth did he do? Uh, um, can we shear it out? I have to pull his ribs apart if I want to get the bloody key. Oh, uh, maybe that's what we're constructing with these uh, loose parts, perhaps? Um, is there like a way I can, uh, relight the candle? I guess, guess not. Light source, um, oh, F? Ah, there we go. Okay, um, so we got to find the other spare part. Oh, well, what, what are we doing here? No, uh, that wasn't the recipe. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. I looked it up. Ernest is supposed to be 63. Honestly, he looks good for his age. Uh, that's still uh, too young for dementia to be setting in, but... He agrees. Okay, I... what are we... trying... trying to make here? Um... Okay, let's see. So, um, C looks empty. C is Phil Ghost. Uh, maybe we're trying to make that. I don't, I don't see that on the uh, the list though. I have no idea um, what we would be doing with that. Okay, um... I guess let's head back out here uh, for now. All right, uh, we are in here. Uh, yes, the corpse, corpse room.
Uh, they went to great lengths to block this. Damn it, if I could only cross through here, I'd know how, uh, I, I know I'd reach Sebastian, I'm positive. If only, if only. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, let's head back outside. There's two more iron, iron doors. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get a clue for what we're supposed to do with that plant puzzle elsewhere. Because uh, this game does like its backtracking. Nope. Hey, hey. Down the stairs. Attaboy. Oh. This thing again. see that right oh, I didn't just see that all right uh, we did just see that Un unfortunate I tried to make sense of that plant puzzle but just couldn't come up with anything to even get started uh, we must be missing something yeah that that's that's got to be the case um Let's see, let's head back this way. Um, we can unlock. Is it this door? Uh, uh, sneak on through this way. And then uh, out to the old cloister. There's an iron locked, iron key locked door out here. Sounds fine. Okay. Somebody moved this bookshelf recently. Oh. Uh, hi. Is that a key? Hello. Jesus, he died holding his key, or someone used him as a shelf. <laughs> All right. Silver key. Uh -huh. Oh, we got it. A uh, triptych uh, with imagery of the crucifixion of Jesus. Uh, these objects are all better organized than I'd expect. Hmm. Somebody blocked the door. I'll have to remove the plank uh, to get through. <coughs> Why would they blockade this door? Uh... 
All right, let's uh, have a look around the room uh, before we uh, start going into into doors. Uh. Confessions of the Librarian, Sorrowful Admission of Guilt by Brother Ernino, Librarian of the Abbey of St. Cecilia. Okay. May this confession atone for the terrible sins I have committed. Everything began with the rehearsals prior to the concert, although we all thought it was simply the stress. When the time came, and in light of the many guests, praise be, I was never, I was asked to watch over our prized texts while the brothers sang, so I never heard them. Uh, what I did hear was the howling that ensued, even though I was several cells away from the church. Uh, when I arrived at the scene, chaos reigned. There were the people there. I cannot even begin to, uh, to describe it. Dead, wounded, others had gone mad and our beloved brothers of the choir, God Almighty. At first they seemed normal, but suddenly they warped into what can only be described as a demonic form, only to shift back to normal moments later. They suffered from horrific seizures, screaming and writhing in agony. At times they tried to grab us in desperation. At others they screamed in what sounded like voices coming from an unfathomable abyss. Uh, we took them to their cells in the upper floor, on the hallway facing the new cloister, and God have mercy on our souls, we locked them in. We closed the door and secured it as well as we could with a lock. Several keys were needed to open it. Uh, this way we could not be tempted in uh, a moment of weakness to liberate that which we had just entrapped. One key was given to the abbot, one to the prior, one to the treasurer, and yet another one to me. For this I beg forgiveness. Forgiveness and the strength to make things right. Uh, Sebastian must have lit this warming pan, right? Sure, why not? Okay, uh, we got a hiding spot right there. Okay, um, this is a door we haven't checked. Okay, sounds fine. Nope. It's locked from the other side, though. All right, let's uh, let's check the, this door that we unbarred. Okay, we're getting to a new section, a graveyard. I guess the choir members were taught the Song of Horrors, so the rest of the monks had no choice uh, but to lock them in the upper floors of the abbey. Yeah, um, I guess so. <clears throat> and then I guess um, uh, the whoever family, did they make the song into the music box like why See, I won't be able to open the gate, and I doubt the mausoleum is open either. The tombs aren't that old, and they're certainly not sealed. I could take a look inside, but the cover is too heavy for me to lift it. 
by hand. All right, I got a door there. We're not uh, we're not interested in that. Okay, and we just kind of. I'm hearing someone moaning or something. Uh, not liking that one bit. I'm afraid it might be another uh, game mechanic uh, that we end up having to do. <laughs> I don't think I could open it uh, by simply pulling on the door knocker. Common statue in Christian graveyards. Okay, um, yeah, looks like there's a door down that way. Let's continue looking around uh, this part of the graveyard. Uh, tombs aren't that old. Oh yeah, it's uh, still still too heavy for us to lift. Uh, the gate is stuck. I guess I won't be going this way. All right, uh, so before we head further in, let's, uh, I guess, circle around. Oh! Oh. Uh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what's down here. On the altar is a rolled paper from which a medallion hangs. Should I take it? I want to try that again. I, I was taking too long. I wonder if it's like a time thing. Like, can we take it and then just run out? Okay, it's uh, closed. So let's, let's just run to the end here. Oh no, the gate's stuck. Let's circle around. It's not open. All right, well, let's circle around anyways. Uh, yes, uh, this way. Uh, instead of wasting away, the lock and key have melded together because of the increasing rust. Alright, what's, uh, what have we got down here? 
I need a machete uh, to get through here and a tank to open that door. But the statue is old and shows clear signs of decay. All right, well. Okay, and that's uh, the way out of the graveyard. Okay. Uh, let's head back uh, this way. He's still closed. All right. One more check. I looked at stuff. Fine. I want that rolled up paper. <laughs> uh, I want that rolled up paper. These statues remind me of certain Egyptian sculptures, and not so much the style as the prose. Alrighty, what have we got going on up here? Alright, we got a, a door. Let's, uh, let's have a little look-see. A wheelbarrow full of sharp tools, rusty and stained in red. Uh, nothing else for us. Okay, let's uh, check this door out. Uh, that descent down into the tomb was a sudden tone shift. I had a feeling there was something bad coming at the end of it. Oh yeah, I, I, I got that feeling too. Like it got like a, like the str uh, screen got kind of, it was like getting fuzzy or whatever. Um, and uh, just like, like we weren't like the character, we weren't following the character anymore. It was, uh... <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, there's a bronze lock on the door. And we don't have a bronze key. That's the abbot's place. Uh, someone is clearly home. Oh. What's going on up there? Uh, is the bronze key the only one left that we don't have? Uh, at least so far, um, aside from, I'm assuming, the four keys that we need to get into that one door, uh, which I'm assuming aren't similar to the ones we've been collecting since we kind of just dropped those once, we're, once we've unlocked all the doors. Uh, but we do have the silver key now, uh, so we can unlock uh, those, those doors. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's get out of the symmetry. Uh, 
uh, that lunar eclipse looks ominous if Bloodborne has taught me anything. Oh, definitely. Uh, don't like the looks of that one bit. There's some, uh, there's some serious shit going on in this abbey. And I don't like it. <laughs> okay, um, wait, was this... How is this one locked? Uh -uh. Oh, from the other side, okay. Okay, so... Let's see, was this door down here? The silver door? Okay, sounds fine. Oh, silver keyhole. Perfect. There. A half copied book. It makes no sense unless it were meant to be some kind of souvenir. That's what the printing press is for. All right, a hidey table. Um, <coughs> yes. Uh, the librarian's plans, handwritten, wrote by Brother Ernino, librarian of Saint Cecilia's Abbey. Uh, Brother Victorino won't stop uttering blasphemies, and I know he will be opposed to reopening the hallway where we locked in our brothers, but I also know that he hid his key in the thurible, so I only need to access it. I do not know what happened to our prior, Father Malaquius, uh, but I suspect the abbot locked him in his room, leaving him with oh, only one possible exit, the door that leads to the cells. Uh, perhaps if I open the passage, I could liberate him and convince him of amending the atrocity we have committed. He is a kind and reasonable man. Or he was before the concert. God Almighty, please protect us. Every person who attended that cursed event has gone mad. Our abbot, Father Aguano, most of all. At night he sings <clears throat> the psalms, but his tune warps into one that resembles the melody played by the musicians before that fateful night. No matter where I may be, the twisted echoes of his chant fly over the graveyard and reach me. I must speak to him, convince him of giving me his key, or find a way to get a hold of it. Dear Lord, please grant me the strength to face him. Um, I don't know what a thurible is. Uh, but I suppose we'll eventually find one. Uh, the monks fled hastily from this room. There's a half-written page, and everything is a mess. Uh, perhaps a monk did research here. It doesn't seem like it did him any good. Uh huh. All right. Oh, we have an old lantern. A fuel burning source. Oh. It doesn't have fuel. I need to find something that can burn. Um, how about that booze? Um, let's see, combine. Mm -hmm. There we go. Lantern filled with ethyl alcohol. I've never seen drawings like these. Okay. Um, all right, scriptorium. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, that goes back out to the uh, new cloister. Dang old brother Victorino, dude just won't stop uttering blasphemies. I know. Gotta, gotta lock him up somewhere. Sounds like a lot of people in this abbey were uh, into the blaspheme game. Oh. All right, bronze key. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, were there any other bronze, bronze key, bronze key? Oh, okay, there's a, a key down there. Maybe that's a, the silver key. Uh, so we should head back out to the cloister, new cloister. Um, we'll probably end up being accosted by the uh, Requiem again. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Standard supplies, I presume. Uh, there wasn't much left of anything. <sighs> page one from the abbot's diary, handwritten page from the diary of Father Aguano, abbot of St. Cecilia. 5th of December, 1912. Brother Ernino has forsaken sanity, another tragedy in the long list of misfortunes that have befallen us. How far must we stray in the face of such calamity? Ernino wanted to open the door, gather the keys once again, to open the gate and free them. I understand his compassion. Far from the other brothers, I only hear their screaming in my dreams. Uh, but he must hear it day and night, and such horror must have broken him. Uh, when he came to see me, to tell me what he wanted, uh, I had to do it. If we are to be saved, I cannot waver. I dragged his body into an empty sarcophagus following the reaper's orders. Now, only God and death know the way to his key. All right. Well, at least he didn't say anything blasphemous while doing that. Uh, the wine in those bottles must have gone bad decades ago. Uh, the cupboard is open. I could hide in there. Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, it makes sense they would protect the warehouse with security bars. Sure, well, why not? Uh, oh, I want to look at the... Uh, 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 what on earth are these drawings? I don't recognize the motifs. Uh, the last of the monk's supplies. Uh, the pot is completely black on the inside. Uh, a pile of books and boxes rotting away. Oh, oh. Uh, hey. Bloody hell, did no one find this poor bastard since the 40s? 
Uh, the soldier is wearing a World War II uniform, a uh, German, it seems. He was carrying a spade. Should I take it? Sure. All right. Mm -hmm. Dear God, it's the spade of a World War II soldier. I was just a boy when this man died. Um... All right, more more items. Uh, we got more items. He's got a grenade on his belt. Maybe I could donate it to a museum. All right. No. Nope. Should I take the grenade? That one seemed pretty obvious, uh, but since we're, we're playing on the uh, no permadeath one, uh, seems like a fun idea to just uh, uh, see, see what happens. Uh, okay, we're uh, all the way back out here. All right, let's just do blah, 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 blah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, what are these drawings? Oh, supplies. Oh, did I miss the dude's, uh, dude's note, actually? Okay, uh, yes, let's take, uh, the shovel. <laughs> and, um, yes, uh, let's leave, uh, leave the grenade. Oh, Jesus, it's cold. Oh, we're back to the coldness. I think that's everything except uh yeah we got the two bronze key locations there oh upstairs that might be a silver key oh gosh i don't remember how to even get up there <laughs> um Oh, maybe up that way. Up uh, next to the uh, scriptorium. I guess we can take a look. Oh, good lord. Oh, thank God it's over. Alright, so do we want to go around that way? Okay. Uh, next, next door.
Oh. Ah, okay. Silver, silver key. Let's throw that in there. All right, we dropped the key. So we got all the silver locks. Uh, the no permadeath mode let us uh, just step on infinite rakes to see what happens. Probably better than leaving us to wonder what might have been. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the, uh, it, <laughs> that one was, uh, like such an obvious death sequence. It's like, oh, oh, this guy's got a grenade. Uh, maybe I could take that and have it put into a museum. It's like, n n no, no, you're gonna, you're gonna pick that up and it's gonna blow up. Uh, still fun, still fun to see though. Uh, by the cross, I see the image of a saint, probably the patron of healing or sickness. All right, treasurer's suicide note. Last words of brother Victorino, a treasurer of St. Cecilia's Abbey. All right, we got Victorino, 712. 1912. I wonder if that's going to be like a puzzle thing. Nothing in the Holy Scripture can describe that place. I see it every night, and every night it's different and unrepeatably perverse. That impossible color. The horrible eclipsed gleam up in the skies. My mind is broken. Not even the devil would be capable of such deviousness, uh, for he would howl in terror if he saw what I've seen. Pure horror, death and eternal oblivion sound like sweet salvation compared to this. If upon taking my own life I awake tortured in a sea of flames, I will shed tears of relief. Old medicine jars, just like the ones my grandparents had in their pharmacy. Uh, three sets of uh, metallic spare parts together. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, can we... Oh, okay. Uh, we, we do have it all uh, piled together. I wonder if this is what we use to get into that body to get that key, um, wherever that was. Oh gosh, now to remember uh, where to go. Uh, they probably use this bucket as a portable privy. I'm not putting my hand in there. Jesus, they're just lying there like abandoned goods. Uh, desperate prayers before a hastily improvised altar. Dear God. A workbench with several tools. It could come in handy. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have like the bladed thing is there and then there's like two two handle things on the end and then the cylinder thingies on the other end. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> okay, so blade pointed up that way. Of 
portable privy TF. <laughs> fix my window here I was clicking around and my game window went all wacky all right so like what, what, what am I supposed to do here like I assumed we'd be like combining things but confused because it doesn't let us just kind of like place it uh, place it down or anything Um, something to think about. Uh, both the trolley and the instruments are rusty and full of old blood stains. The shroud is covered with dark stains. The infirmary. Oh yeah, that's right. We have that lamp too. All this stuff. I'm I'm assuming uh, the the shovel thing we'll probably use with those uh, in in the uh, the cemetery. Maybe uh, maybe we're supposed to leave flowers somewhere in the cemetery. Uh, that's all I can think at this point. I wonder if there's, um, like that thing with the well, I, I kind of wonder if there's like a key down there too. Um. Uh, 
nothing over that way. Okay, past this. Oh boy. Um, can we make it? I can't hide here. Yes, uh, yes you are. All right. Uh, yeah, we have this stupid plant puzzle too. Um. Okay, um, this first one doesn't seem like we can make. The second one is 1, 1 F, and 1 E. Let's, uh... Did we do it? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't seem like we can make that. that uh let's see so two two b's two d's two b's two d's Hmm. 
Uh, let's see. One F, one B. Oh, you know what? Can we... I wonder, is this plant just red flowers? Mm -hmm. I didn't know if that, um, I guess it's a very different color from the rest of them. Maybe it isn't, uh, isn't that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Two E. Two E, two F. Absolutely no idea on that one either. Um, well, I guess I got a couple of puzzles to think about. Um, I think that might be where we end for the evening. Uh, seems like a good, good spot. Um, maybe uh, try to figure out um, what our next course is going to be or uh, think about these puzzles a little bit before we end up having to go to, a, you know, a guide next time. Um, so I think that's a good, we'll, uh, we'll hit the save. The old save and exit. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Uh, so um, tomorrow's stream, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, now that we're done with the Disco Elysium, um, we're going to be starting uh, the council. Um, I almost made an executive decision. It was like, well, I mean, that one you're kind of wandering around. Um, but I don't think um, if there are puzzles, I don't, I don't think it's going to be as uh, uh, crazy as uh, some of the ones in this. And uh, it's not I don't, I don't think it's a straight up horror game. Um, seems to be more of like a narrative, uh, narrative adventure game with very light RPG mechanics. Like you, you get points to put into things like lock picking, I think, and maybe like dialogue or like a knowledge in certain things so you can have conversations with people. Uh, <laughs> I'd something like that um i'm interested in talking to george washington though to see what other uh other historical figures we might run into as we uh, uh go on the search for our missing mother i guess uh we'll see uh so we'll be starting that tomorrow um 
I, I looked that one up on uh, Twitch and like nobody, nobody really plays that one. Uh, I think I saw two people uh, running it when I looked it up this afternoon. So uh, not a popular game, but I guess that fits a part of the theme I want. Uh, let's see. I have faith that Professor Patty O'Doyle can figure this one out. <laughs> Um, is this next game going to expose me, uh, as knowing nothing about American history? Well, I am happy to inform you that, um, uh, this game will be very educational, uh, as we explore a secret society in George Washington times. Um, I'm sure it'll be very, very, very historically accurate, so, um... Uh, I, I think uh, if you found yourself having to take a American history exam, this game will give you the power to get an A++++ on that test. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, that'll be tomorrow. So we'll be uh, going back and forth between some councils and some Song of Horrors. Uh, we'll probably, well, I know we're, we're deep into Song of Horror. Hopefully the console doesn't end up being finished first. Um, although with some of these puzzles, I don't know. Uh, ready to learn. That's right. Uh, school will be in session uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, so yes, uh, thanks everybody who popped in to check this nonsense out. I appreciate it. And uh, uh, we'll be back soon. Uh, so everybody have a good evening or uh, uh, whatever time of day it is for you. And uh, we'll see you later. Uh, goodbye.